Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. In this early particular video, I am planning to introduce three different characters. And one of the characters, I decided to do you guys a favor by giving you guys a surprise piece of information after I'm done explaining the three things. So I hope you guys bear with me. This is the character that might be confusing, but don't worry, I'll clear up the complications when the time is nigh. So just bear with me, please. Dark Gem. Real name? None. Height 15 feet. Weight 450 pounds. Status villain and enemy of gem. Base fortress of terrorism, the moon. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, moody, stubborn, and destructive. She'll always try to finish gem. Lethality, utterly lethal when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, if gem dies, then she will die with her. Powers, she possesses all the powers as gem, along with total ruthlessness. Eyes deep red with glasses, hair light red with and luscious. Origin. One time, Dark Pym decided to give her sister an ally, Dark Meg, a genetic opposite in a new attempt on ending Pym and her friends. When the two sisters finished the procedure, they created the evil counterpart of Jem known only as Dark Jem. When Dark Jem was commanded to defeat Pym, and help destroy all innocents. She eventually got overwhelmed and thus defeated by Jem. Since then, Dark Jem would do anything to finally put an end to the heroic Jem, although she's unable to kill her. Costume. She wears the same clothes as Jem. Teams. Solitary with Dark Meg and other villains. Original inspiration? Jem. This next character I'm going to introduce is something. F if at all, if that makes any sense in the slightest. So I hope you guys could bear with me. Elementa. Real name, unrevealed. Height and weight varied. Status, anti-hero and Universal Misfits member. Base, two Earths, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior. Creative, willful, and moody. She enjoys surprising others. Lethality. Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, countering elements. Powers. She possesses similar powers as Absorber, can never disable her powers, and is hard to kill. She could also make elemental constructs. Eyes and hair, varied. Origin. Elementa was an unknown woman who was captured and experimented on by Tyranitar into becoming the ultimate organism. However, the machines went into overdrive and led to the woman gaining the power to change into any element she could think of, despite that she's forever unable to turn off her powers. Outraged of this, Elementa destroyed the hidden facility and went on a bad tantrum across Orlando. Eventually, Absorber came by and used her own powers to defeat Elementa in a fight. Liberated from her mistakes, Elementa was soon invited by Absorber into becoming a new member of the heroic Universal Misfits, thus trying to improve her worth in life. Costume, varied. Team, solitary, with the Universal Misfits and others. Original inspirations, DC's Metamorpho. The last one is a character that is affiliated with another character I've introduced in the past. So if you guys bear with me, I'll explain her. Fear. Real name, Daisy Crane. Height, 5 feet 10.5 inches. Weight, 157 pounds. Status, anti-hero and master of panic. Base, Boston, Massachusetts. Mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, confident and flirtatious. She enjoys her love for dagger. Lethality, extremely deadly, even by cardiac arrest. Weaknesses. She tends to underestimate the situation. Powers. She can emit fear gas from her lungs that give her victims 
that make her victims hallucinate their greatest fears. She possesses long and jointed blades that replace the fingers on her right hand. She also has high agility, along with the ability to disappear into the shadows. Eyes, sky blue. Hair, brownish black and shoulder length. Origin. Daisy Crane was a careless youth who wound up in a brutal car crash from a DUI. After dying, Reaper gave Daisy a second chance in life, along with giving her fear gas and blades for fingers on her right hand due to the injuries that she sustained in the accident. When she eventually met Dagger, all their time spending together had developed into a strong romance. After their marriage, they were blessed by the Priantrum Nonsiculus, when Dagger was granted with a pregnancy. Eventually, however, a senseless gunman shot, shot Dagger and gave her a miscarriage, ending with a severe, vengeful fatality from fear. After long hours of grief, the two lovers decided that as long as they were together, they will have absolutely nothing to worry about for their future. Costume. She wears a leather cowgirl hat, a green and magenta sweater, a leather jean jacket, and grayish sweatpants with red sneakers. Team Solitary, with Dagger and other heroes. Original inspiration, Freddy Krueger. Well, those are the three characters, and like I promised for Jem, she's an affiliation. So, a few days ago, I made this, like, affiliation graph. That would help you guys better understand the character Pym in terms of Dark Pym, Meg, Dark Meg, and all that stuff. So I hope it's not backwards for you guys. Pym is, her real name is Penelope Ingrid Myers. Mip is her alter, her genetic opposite, which stands for Miranda Ingrid Patterson. And Dark Pym is Pym's evil counterpart. And Dark Pym ended up creating Dark Mip, who is the evil counterpart of Mip. And there's also um, at the quirky dimension, which is imperfect versions, which Dark Dim is actually the hero, whereas Dim is the villain. There's also Mid, which is basically the genetic opposite of Dim. And there's also Dark Mid, which is the genetic opposite of Dark Dim. Because it's imperfect copies, it will be reversed. So Dark Dim is the hero, whereas Dim is the villain, despite what you would normally think. Pim has a, a sister by three years older than her named Meg, who has her own like evil counterpart known as Dark Mid. And she also ends up having her in a, her genetic opposite known as Gem, which is what you heard briefly about, and she has her counterpart, evil counterpart known as Dark Gem, which is the genetic opposite of of Dark Meg. You know? I'm trying to think what else to Dark Mid ten. I hope I, I hope it's comprehensible for you guys. It's all, it's the best I could do to figure this out on you guys' behalf. Because if there's any complications, I'll try to make things work some way, somehow. You know? And I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, the podcast and stuff so far. And, uh, I'm recently trying to figure stuff out. Like, there's this website called Redbubble where I'm trying to make my own makeshift t-shirts and other clothes and accessories that I could design online. But as of right now, it's a bit incomplete because I have to figure out the output on behalf of paying, like uh, currency and such, whether it be PayPal or something, or a deposit. And supposedly, at some point, I would be able to let out Imagine t-shirts of my illustrations and the illustrations that others, like portrayals and such, of d don't worry, I will always make sure to give them credit because plagiarism is completely 
arbitrary, like altogether, you know. I have to make sure to give him credit. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below and share if you want. It's your choice. Um, I wish I could have at least 61 subscribers at some point. Right now I have 43, and I'd like to have at least 61. To put that in context, there's the Charleston Brothers, who last I checked had 61 subscribers. And what they do is literal criminal activity. And if criminals have more subscribers than I do, then that's not a good sign. So there has to be some way, somehow, for me to get higher than 61 subscribers at some point. I just want to make things work some way, somehow. Is that too much to ask? So I hope you guys enjoy the month of May and so forth and all your time and such. And just so you guys know, June 15th will be the 10th anniversary celebration for my Leviathan universe. Ten years ago, I started with Madam Shear. Ten years later, here we are. And I hope you guys enjoy your time and so forth and just saying. And until next time. In transmission.